I know that during these times we can't hug each other, but you know, I'm going to hug the camera because <laughs> it's a digital hug. It's been the most incredible journey. Going right back to January 1st of this year, we signed the lease to get this studio, but it was a complete empty shell. Originally, the idea was just some small talk. It was kind of like, wouldn't it be amazing to have our very own place? And we just toyed with all these ideas. And we're always talking. We always have so much banter between us. And we thought, Let's make our dream into a reality. But then we heard about the price tag. And again, we were just like, we, we can't do that. We are not in the position to financially afford it. And it, it kind of hurt because your dreams are something, but the reality is something else. So we literally just thought, how? How can we manage to achieve this? And we wrote everything down. We planned it. We just theoretically kind of threw it out there and tried to join the dots. The first time we came to see the studio, we walked in and we could just see a room filled with desks. It was somebody else's place. And it was crazy to think that this place could be transformed into a dance and fitness studio. We worked really hard just to try and like teach ourselves how to even obtain a place like this. We, we had no idea. It was just all new to us and just having the thought of having two sets of keys, like one for my home and another one for a studio, I, I never thought I would ever be in that position. So from the early stages, the words that I would say that helped us develop was courage. We just had the courage to go, we're going to try, we're going to see if we can develop this idea into reality. So before we signed the lease and got the keys for these beautiful premises, we used to walk by the so-called studio every day and just imagine, wow, this place could be ours. So eventually when we did go to sign the lease, I was a nervous wreck. When I was signing my signature, honestly, I don't think it really looks like my real signature. <laughs> I was so nervous, I had the shakes. It's like jumping into the deep end of a swimming pool. It really is because, oh, we've got the lights on. Yeah, yeah, that's there cool. it is. That's our landlord. <laughs> <laughs> Threw into the other office, he just gave us a cool way. <laughs> so it's January 1st and we have the keys for our empty studio, but there's one major issue. We have no money. So we're in this beautiful place and we're like, how can we transform it? And the way that we thought we could transform it was through Go fund me through public funding. And we have to say, we absolutely smashed our target and that was because of you guys. You fundamentally supported us throughout this whole project. Like the support from you actually made this place come true. Because there's one thing saying, we're gonna do this, but then there's another thing of the audience going, yeah, do you know what? We're gonna support those guys. And this is actually evidence. And all the donations and money that you were so generous in giving, it poured directly into the studio. But it wasn't easy because you can't just say, hey, we need money. It doesn't happen like that. We carefully gave our story out and was so truthful with everything. The fact that that story came through and it actually came through our way with financial support, just, it meant the world to us. Truth really shows, it really shines. And we had nothing else to give. Like we, we just gave ourselves and said, 
this is what we really need help with. And this was just, again, so encouraging, like being completely transparent about your situation. You guys and us, we had this rapport and we've never felt anything quite like this before. Yeah, we didn't know it was gonna work. Like, there's no way that we just woke up and went, yeah, we're gonna do a GoFundMe page and it's gonna be cool and successful. It, we just didn't have a clue. So having reached this incredible milestone of reaching our financial target, it allowed us to immediately build the mirrors and get everything else that we needed for the studio. It was an incredible process alone, just getting in the builders to be able to create the biggest structure of mirrors in this room was just like a mean feat. You should have seen how incredible it was. We've made a whole vlog about it and you can click that right here. It is a beautiful feature. It looks impressive and it's functional and it really was the beginning of the studio transforming. Every detail matters and we reached out to an awesome sign writer and when people walk by the door they say oh the ballet twin studio and at first that was kind of a weird thing to hear like when our blind was down and we were working doing all the admin for all the gofundme we could hear people say the ballet twin studio and we were like whoa <laughs> so you might be thinking that oh those guys are just getting the mirrors on doing the floor doing a couple of finishing touches but actually that was not the reality. It's taken a lot of energy. So in reality, when you're doing a big project, costs go through the roof and it's really hard to keep things in budget. And we certainly felt that. Everything just starts to add up. And we were so close to finishing our studio, but we just didn't have enough to complete it. And we had to really get some elbow grease into making our own studio, we built the dance floor. We did, we got on our own hands and knees and built our own dance floor. Now that was an incredible experience because we've never done anything like that. So we had to teach ourselves, you know, really go carefully because you can't make a mistake. There's no going back. We were doing hours and hours and hours, getting up early in the morning, coming back home late at night and it, it was building up. We could tell that this was, this was draining because we weren't just managing a project or building things, you know, or even holding the responsibility and the anxiety that comes with such a big project. We were teaching online classes. We were sorting out the booking system and so many things that we've never come across that you need to have in place for a commercial space you know, from insurances to fire regulations, to health and safety. It was a lot of work. It did seem like the end wasn't in sight for quite some time. And there were times when you do have self-doubt. You're like, have we done the right thing? It definitely was in the back of the mind sometimes. And especially when you've gone public with your idea, there is a lot of responsibility in this way. It's like you have a lot of light shining on you during the time of building something. So even though that is a lot of pressure, that also gave us the fuel. In reality, it was something so good. It was like everybody was so encouraging. So the fatigue was real, but what we got out of it was just so worth it. It started to feel like an actual dance studio. We got rid of all the sawdust that we'd collected. We got rid of all like the nails and the saws and, and the, the hammers and, and the, the hammers screws and, and the you, everything. You name it, it was like a tool shop. And then cleaned it all down and we started to build the client lounge. And we have to say, we've done a good job. It's so nice. It feels so good when you walk in. First of all, it smells amazing. It looks so good. It's super chic. It's modern, but yet it's got this retro vibe. It's functional. People can put their things away and just really enjoy their space before they come and take a class. Is that saying you're gonna let the ship sail? But honestly, we've been like winding up that mast <laughs> and um, a massive gust of wind came and that ship sailed. <laughs> it was one of the most incredible feelings to open our doors to the public, let them all come in and get like an incredible response. It was amazing actually having that hands-on approach with clients in real life in our own studio. It was so rewarding for us. They said some incredible things that they left amazing reviews on Google. They gave us champagne and bottle of wines. And it was just like, 
wow, this is why we did it. So the Ballet Twin Studio ultimately is a creative space to have people dancing here, to have interviews, to film, you name it. Creation is the key in this place. We are gonna be pouring creativity down the YouTube funnel. <laughs> it's gonna come right into your screen. And we cannot wait. It's gonna be an amazing year ahead. The support has just been amazing and it just makes us wanna give you a massive hug. I know that during these times we can't hug each other, but you know what, I'm gonna hug the camera. Because <laughs> it's a digital hug. It's a digital hug. <laughs> but it's one of those things that we, we really can't thank you enough. And this is just the beginning. So we really hope that you enjoyed this unique tour around the Ballet Twin Studio. And we really hope that our story inspired you. And if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tick the notification bell so you are notified every time we release a new video and we will see you in our next video